Welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling Exercise Number 18. We make this 3D model with the help of this diagram in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select the part and then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the front plane for the sketch. And draw this profile. Then extrude this up to 52 mm with a mid plane feature. Then we make this rib on one side. Then mirror it for another side. Our 3D object should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the front plane and click on the sketch. Select the circle tool from the sketch tab. We have to draw a radius of 15 mm circle and offset it 8 mm for the outer circle. The select origin point for the center point of the circle. Put the diameter value 30 mm of the circle and press enter. Select offset tool from the sketch tab. Select this circle and see. It's automatically offset to the outside. Enter the value 8 mm and press enter. Select the line tool from the sketch tab. Draw a horizontal line for the outer circle. Select this quadrant point and this quadrant point. Escape the command. As per the model, we need just half segment of this circular profile. We should trim the top half segment of the circle. Select Trim Entities tool from the sketch tab. Make sure Power Trim mode is selected. And trim unwanted entity edges by dragging the mouse. Like this. Now we draw this remaining profile at the half segment with the middle axis. Then mirror it to the right side. First, we create a mirror axis with the center line. Select the center line tool from the sketch tab. Get tracking reference from the origin point and draw vertical axis at the middle of the sketch. Like this. Now, select the line tool from the sketch tab. Approximate I select the first point on this arc profile. The drawn line straight vertically to the downside. Then straight horizontally to the left side. Again, vertically to the downside then straight horizontally to the right side up to the axis. Now we need to fix dimensions for this. Select the Smart Dimension tool from the Sketch tab. Select this line and put the value half of the total length 75 mm. 75 divide 2 and press Enter. Then, select this vertical line. Place the dimension. Put the value 9 mm. And press Enter. Next, select the axis and this vertical line. Place the dimension. Put the value half of 9 mm, 4.5 mm and press enter. Next, select the midpoint of the arc or origin point and this horizontal line. Place the dimension and put the value 40 mm. Press enter. Now, we should mirror these lines to the right side. Select the all lines and make sure they are listed in this section. Select Mirror Entities tool from the Sketch tab. Select the About Mirror section. Then select the vertical center line as the mirror axis. See the preview of the mirror in the yellow wireframe. Confirm the mirror entities and press Enter. Select Trim Entities tool from the Sketch tab and trim unwanted entity edges by dragging the mouse. See, our sketch is fully defined. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. We extrude this profile with mid-plane up to 52 mm. Drop down the Direction 1 option, and select the mid-plane. Put the value 52 mm. 
see the preview and click on mark ok next we draw this rib part in the middle of this solid that for we extrude the sketch with the mid plane for the rib we draw the line profile on the front plane select the front plane and click on the sketch press ctrl plus 8 to make the sketch plane normal Select the line tool from the sketch tab. Select this corner point for the first point of the line. And select this corner point. Now we draw the additional line to avoid rib built error. Approximate 2 mm. Escape the command. See, we draw this profile at the middle of the model. Go to the feature tab and select the rib tool. See, our sketch is detected for making rib. We can manage the thickness direction of the rib from here. Put the value 8mm thickness of the rib. We can switch the direction of the rib from here. We should be required inside arrow direction for the rib. Set the arrow in this direction. Like this. Click on mark OK. See, our rib was built perfectly. Now, we make rib for another side. Select the rib feature from the design tree, which we recently created. Select the mirror tool from the feature tab. We need to select a mirror face or plane. In this case, we select a suitable plane from the part history. Select the right plane as the mirror axis. And see the preview in the yellow wireframe. Click on mark OK. Our 3D model is completed. Fillet the required edges with an approximate radius. Select the fillet tool from the feature tab. And put the fillet radius 2 mm. Select the edges and see the preview. and press enter. Escape the command. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to appearance. Drop down the appearance. And select metal. Select brass material. And I choose cast brass material. Just drag it on the object and select the body option. Now, here we applied material to this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. Thank you for watching. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.